Welcome to the seventh Atom CLI tutorial video. Today we're going to look at the uses of the export bulk task. This is used to export EAD or mods XML from your application. For this tutorial, we're assuming you've already watched videos one to three that you have your Vagrant box set up. I've already opened my browser and logged into the application as well. You can follow along today in our documentation in the administrator's manual. Check out the command line tools page in the maintenance section. We'll be looking at this section, bulk export of XML files. If you type PHP Symphony help export colon bulk into the command line, you can see the help output for this task. Described here, you'll find the usage and syntax of the command, the arguments required, which is the file path to the export location, and the options available. These options are all covered in detail in our documentation, and we'll look at a few of them today. Inside the folder where you've installed your Vagrant box, I've also created some directories for us to work with. I've created one here where I will be using as my export location. It's called the export bulk output. You can access this from the command line at slash Vagrant. Here I can see it from the command line. Now let's try running our command without any options at first, just running the base command to see how the bulk export task works. The syntax for this is php symphony export colon bulk. This will export all descriptions in my system. As we can see here, I have three multi-level descriptions in my Atom database at the moment. Running the export bulk task without any options used will export all uh, descriptions in your database. However, the argument is required. If you don't include it, the task will fail. In this case, the argument is a path where the EED XML should be exported. Let's try this again with a path to our export folder. When you run the command, Adam will use dots to give a crude sort of suggestion of how the task is progressing. Now we've completed and we have three dots for our three descriptions. EAD XML is hierarchical and therefore includes all lower level descriptions within a single EAD XML file. Let's take a look at one. Using a text editor, we can see that the output includes lower levels of description. The task allows you to export in other formats as well, such as mods XML. Let's take a look at how we can run this command again, but export with mods XML. First we'll enter the help command to take a look at the options. We're going to be using the format option here and specifying it as mods. Currently EAD and mods are the two options supported by this. The default, if you do not include it, is EAD. We'll start by entering our base command, php symphony export colon bulk and the path. Now let's go back and add the option to specify that we want the output to be mods. Before our argument, we'll enter dash dash format equals and then in quotations, we'll write mods. You'll notice immediately that when we run the task, we end up with many more descriptions. In fact, 31 total. This is because mods XML does not support hierarchical XML outputs. In this case, for every description in our hierarchies, we've gotten one mods file. We can see here the parent and its children have exported in order. 
If we take a look at one of these, however, we will see that there are references to the child XML records included Now we'll take a look at the criteria option. This allows an archivist to use SQL to enter specific queries to the database that are not otherwise possible. As Adam uses a MySQL database, you can use SQL queries to query the database directly. In the documentation, we've included a few examples. Example one here would show you how you could export all draft descriptions. In this case, this might be useful if I wanted to export only the cook phone and children of other records that are also in draft status. We're going to look at how to export the records from one specific repository, however. Here in our example below, we've got the SQL query already written out as an example of how you could do this. What you'll need to know is the slug of your repository or archival institution record. First, let's enter the base command, php symphony export colon bulk and the path to our output folder. Now we'll go back and before the path, we'll enter dash dash criteria equals and then in quotations, we'll put this SQL query. You're welcome to use the examples provided in our documentation if you find them useful. Here I'm going to copy this directly from our documentation and use it. Make sure that you get all of the syntax. The command will fail if you don't have all the proper quotes and semicolons in the right places. Now I'll need to know the slug to enter to make the query specific to my database. Let's go look at our Atom instance and check out the slug of one specific repository. I can see here that there are three records associated with three different archival institutions. Let's look up the record for one of those now. If I take the unique part at the end of the URL, this is the permalink or slug for my archival institution. I'll add this into the query. Notice that I have just one description associated with the Wilfrid Laurie University Archives. We should get one description output. Now if we take a look at our output directory, we can see that we've succeeded in exporting just the one record associated with the Wilfrid Laurier University Archives. The next option we'll look at is the current level only option. This is useful if you want to export only top level descriptions this will exclude child records. This can be useful if you are sending records to, for example, a portal site. Once again, we'll enter our base command and the path to our export directory. Now we'll go back and before the path, we'll add dash dash current dash level dash only. This time we've exported our three records, but they will not include lower levels in the EAD XML output. Let's take a look. You can see that the EAD output here is much shorter because the lower levels have been excluded. The export bulk task is designed for bulk export, but it can also be used to export large EAD XML files that are too big to be exported from the user interface. If 
we want to target a specific description, we can use the single slug option. For this, we'll need to know the slug of one of our particular descriptions. I'll take the slug of the David Brown collection here. Once again, I'll enter the base command PHP Symphony export colon bulk and my argument, the path to my export directory. Now before the argument, I'll go back and I'll add dash dash single dash slug equals and then in quotation marks, I'll include the slug. Notice that this command behaves differently. When we run the single slug option, we actually need to give it an output that includes a file name at the end. This can be whatever you want. I'll enter david-brown.xml. Now the export has worked. Let's go take a look. Since I've specified the output should be called david dash brown XML, that's what it's used on the export name, and it's been a success. The last thing we'll look at is the public option. This will exclude all draft records at all levels when exporting. We can see here that I have one draft top level record Additionally, many of the lower level records in some of my other hierarchical descriptions are also in draft mode. We can see here that while the top level record here is published, my lower level series are in draft mode. They should be excluded when I use the public option. Note that if you have child records of a draft record that are published, they will be excluded as well. The hierarchy must be maintained in a way that can be reconstructed in the EAD XML. To do this, we'll enter our base command and the path. Then we'll go back and we'll add before the path dash dash public. We've gotten two descriptions exported. This fits with what we were expecting. Our top level record that was in draft mode has been excluded. If we take a look at the output, we can also see that lower levels of description that were in draft are not included in the EAD XML output of the published records. There are several other options available for use with the export bulk command. Note that you can also use a different but similar command that we won't cover today to export EAC CPF XML files of your authority records. Be sure to check this out in the documentation and give it a try. We'll have other tutorials covering more of these CLI tasks. You can find all of this in the administrator's manual.